Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott and we're here at Guarantee RV Super Centers today in Junction City, Oregon to show you a new Sundance. This is the 241 Bunkhouse or 241 BH. It's a dynamite trailer. Let's go indoors and take a look at it real quick. Now a couple of things I want to point out real quick before we walk in. This door has a friction hinge which is going to keep it from slamming into the sidewall. Now you don't have to have that little plastic hook that people are always breaking off on their doorstop. Also, this has the new steps, and these steps are magnificent because there's no step box underneath, and it's just as solid as going in and out of your house. There's, they're fantastic steps. Everybody wants these. Okay, so now on the interior of this coach, first thing we see is bunkhouse, means that I can use it for a lot of different things, not just kids. So when I'm not putting people back here, I can put a lot of stuff back here. If it's guys that hunt and fish, this is a place where you put all your gear. Guys that shoot pictures, that's where you put your cameras and your tripods. Or you can put people in here. This top bunk will hold 275 pounds. You could easily stuff four kids in here with no trouble. And also, you've got a big storage area down underneath the bed, which is dynamite. Now this has a nice big refrigerator freezer, has a nice stove top, glass, and a glass oven door so you can actually see what you're cooking in the oven. Has a really nice big deep stainless steel sink. One thing about a bunkhouse, usually you're using it with some family members. This has a horseshoe seating area that's a wraparound and this is a fantastic place because first of all, obviously it's a big dining area, but it also makes a very large bed. And if I want, I could take that table out and just have it be an open seating area. Plus, it's all storage all the way around. Every, everything under here is open to storage. This TV set can swivel so we can angle it toward the seating area here. Or we can even flip it back around to the bedroom so you can see it from your bed. We look at the galley here. I also want to point out we have a good deal of storage. You have a nice microwave oven. If you look at the interior, you'll see that it's crowned. So my cameraman's about six foot four. You can't see him, but he isn't bumping his head in here. There's plenty of room. And that's a very nice trailer to be in. The other thing is great ventilation. You'll notice that we have a sliding window here. These windows go up and down and we can really open them up so I can get a lot of fresh air in here and really enjoy uh, the, uh, the nice outdoor smells that you get when you're camping. Plus you can really get the moisture out of your trailer if you get fresh air. Let's look up here. So in this bedroom, we've got pocket doors that slide back and forth so we can enclose this whole bedroom even though this isn't a great big trailer. And we've got hanging storage and overhead storage. They even put USB charging ports up here over the bed. So this is a queen walk around bed that you access from either side. And by doing that, we can save a little bit of length off the trailer. Okay, let's take a look at the exterior. Okay, now, we've already talked about the step and the friction hinge. Have a nice grab handle here so you don't fall out. It's got uh, speakers up there. It's got a beautiful power awning. And uh, we'll go this way. And I want you to notice that we have a really large storage area. And you can see that we use aluminum superstructure. One of the things about this trailer, it's not too heavy for most folks to pull. And part of that is because we're using aluminum wherever we can on the interior of the coach. This is also aluminum framed sidewalls. If we look at the front end, we see a nice, beautiful, attractive front cap that uh, is gonna hold up much better and be more durable in the long run than a lot of the typical fiberglass front ends you see on these coaches that may warp or delaminate. Uh, over uh, duration. The power tongue jack. Now you'll see a place here, there's room for two batteries. If you buy from Guarantee, we always provide you two batteries. It's part of the deal. It's always nice to note the kind of slide mechanism. You see a lot of different things out there. This is a rack and pinion slide. That's important because it gives you a flush mount slide inside with a maximum amount of headroom. Plus, that slide, rack and pinion style, is the most reliable. There's no there's no cables, there's no pulleys. This is the most solid type of slide out. It's been around a long time, it's tried and true. Okay, let's walk around here. One thing you can see that's nice on this, has a sewer flush. We've got 
Cable and satellite available here for exterior. We've got a spray port for a washdown station and a removable short cord so I could take that cord off and roll it up and store it. You look back here, and one thing you're going to notice right away is that there's a, a bib for a camera so we can set up a backup camera on this. That's optional on this trailer. We can do it for you here at Garrity. Now, the last thing I want to show you about the outside of this is we have an outside kitchen. And this is a really popular feature you're going to see in a lot of trailers that have bunks. Usually a refrigerator, but most of the time you don't get a burner stove. Sometimes they'll have a barbecue hookup, but a two burner stove I think is something you've got to have for an outside kitchen. We've got hot and cold running water. And the thing I really like is this is made out of metal. So if it, if it rains or if you get spill your beans on it or whatever, it's not going to ruin the finish. This is very easy to care for. That's a quick look at the 241 Bunkhouse Sundowns at Garrity RV. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. If you have any questions or you'd like to see it in person, I'd love to talk to you. My name's Matt Elliott. You can reach me at 541-954-8495. You have a great day.